How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Hydroneer Volcanidus. The DLC! Alright, I've got to turn my audio back on because I turned it off today. Yes, the game audio. Hoverpad has followed on Twitch. Brilliant. I didn't turn the Steam avatars on again. I'm very sorry. Right, well, unfortunately that's not coming on. So, I'm hoping my bot on stream elements works today. I really do hope. It would be nice. Because if it works, then it works and it's all good. Anyway, so, I've been grinding away in the background doing tokens. So, I'm gonna, I need to do a few more because I'm going to we have to go to the shop. But, I did get enough today. I got enough. I got 102,000 of these little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go shopping. I want the statue. Statue is needed. We need the need. We need the statue. Statue is the thing that I've been... Ever since I saw it, I was like, I want it. I need it. I, it's going to be on my collection. It's all good. And yes, I am that sad. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Ready for the weekend? I've watched all of Fallout. If you guys have watched Fallout, the TV show, how, did you find it good? If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's awesome. Does it do anything? No, it's just a really cool statue that costs a lot of tokens. It's just it's just me going, nah, I've got it, basically. Never well here, bro? Oh, dude, Gad, you have my sympathies, bud. Right. And I want it. And I want... There we are. Watched the first episode and loved it so far. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I've I, I binged the whole thing in one day. I was like, I have to find out what happens. Because I am that I am that sad, yes. But I've got to be honest. Such a good rendition of a, of, a, of a game franchise that I was actually really happy with. I, I'm, I'm a massive Fallout fan, so being able to like see the TV. Who's this schmuck? I don't know, Chris. I have no idea who it is. Uh, but yeah, good show. Good cast. Good. I, I like the story in it as well. I like the fact that there was enough backstory to like let you know who people were and so on and so forth. Really good. Huh? No, they didn't muff it up like Rings of Power. So, the source material, um, yes and no at the same time. Yes, it is actually really close to the Fallout world, partially. There is a couple of like discrepancies, I would say, because they're tr they're sort of like mention they're sort of like going down some of the lore of like New Vegas. But the problem with New Vegas is it was made by Obsidian, and Obsidian had their own sort of law within the game, so they they did certain things, and it's like okay, cool, we're gonna be okay. And then I, I sat there and just went, okay, that's that's a bit different from the source material, but I'm okay. Genuinely, I'm fine with it. So yeah, how are we doing? I'm doing good. You recently got a new PC? Excellent, good to hear. So what Fallout is it set around? Um, it's set after Fallout Four. The it's 219 years since the bombs dropped. So what they dropped in 2077? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the bombs dropped in 2077. So. Yeah, it's set 219 years afterwards, so it's around like just after Fallout 4, so after the after the main character and Sean and so on and so forth. Um, the problem that, that there's one thing in the series I think is like episode six or seven, and there's a little bit of a discrepancy between uh, the chalkboard that's actually in the series and what it says on the chalkboard, and then the timeline itself. So, not quite sure. But yeah, I, I, the reason why it's been done that way is because it's Bethesda who were sort of, because Bethesda have basically helped make the show, they've put their own sort of law in it, and then they've sort of skipped over some of the stuff that Obsidian put in it before, so it's like a conflict of interest if you're a real geeky person. For me, I actually don't mind, even though I'm a geeky person, but I actually don't mind the direction the TV show's taken. What's Fallout on? It's on Amazon Prime. Right, uh, right now, at least. Yeah, they did the Bethesda side. So it's a little bit of a conflict of interest between certain like companies. 
But I'm alright with it. Gen- as somebody who will read up on like like law and everything else within like Fallout, I don't mind it. There are certain things I'm I'm okay on. So as a watch, yeah. If you're a Fallout fan, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. Definitely. Right. So I bought my big statue. Yay me! That's all my. That's pretty much all of my tokens gone, which is fantastic. It means I have to start. Uh, it means I have to go hunting for some more. Next, I want to. I need to take this. I need this. I don't know how much I've got of this. Forty-one thousand. We should be completely fine. Uh, makes me want to play Fallout. Yeah, it really does actually. Like I, even I was sitting there just going, you know what? I could really get back into Fallout again. Um, I have been tempted. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with me playing Fallout is I sit there and just go, I've done all this. I've done this. Can I get past all this and mod it? Because I really don't want to do this anymore. So, yeah, I, I, it's it's still a good shout. Right, we're going to go and unlock all the ore miners now. I hope I've got enough. I've got 20,000 hardstones, so we should be okay. But yes, uh, what is hardstone used for? Uh, unlocking buildings, mainly. Well, that's it. No, once, you, once you've unlocked everything, you don't need hardstone anymore. It just becomes a commodity to sell. That's it. So, it's a bit of a shame that that's all they're used for. But apart from that, it's okay. And then I've got to work out what the secret achievement is. Because I've only got one more thing that I really know. I, re I don't know what it is, but I know I've got something. Which sucks. <sighs> but apart from that, yeah. Fallout's a good shout. I liked it. You know what? I'm going to stop off here for a second. I'm going to fill it up with lava. And then we'll be okay. But yeah, I've been, it was a lot of back and forth today, and yesterday actually saying that, that I was just collecting tokens. It took me, I think all in all, about eight hours to do like 100,000 tokens. But some of my missions were quite high, so that was right, like two and a half thousand sort of thing. Which is quite nice, didn't have to do as much. But then like, I did get a lot of like, hey, can you go and get me this one piece of ore? It's like, yep, yeah, can do, that's why I carry a bucket around. And then... The only thing I've got left to edit is a tips video. Now, that's all I've got. I'm basically all hydrated out again. I've finished the, I've finished my videos, and now I'm just chilling and playing the game. Well, I mean, not even progression really now. Check the picture of my hand out. Hold on. Jesus, dude, did you break it? That's a lot of bruising. I'm going to assume it got hit by something really big. You don't know? Oh. So if you don't know what caused it, does that mean that um, you it might be an infection? I got an achievement. Yeah. I don't know if it's broken. Okay. Did it really fucking hurt when it happened? Because if it really hurt and you've got that much bruising, I would probably safely say that it's probably a little bit broken. Especially when it looks like a little bit like a balloon. Just me though. No dog. Yeah, I think it might be time, unfortunately. Joy's a bit American though, it's like, unless he's insured, it's a lot of fucking money to go to see a doctor. <laughs> I hope you're insured, dude. Because you might need to. 
When do you do it? I'm watching chats now. <clears throat> It was messed up before I... Hold on. It was messed up before I punched the dude. Yeah, I think you may have broken your hand, mate. I mean, th this is coming from somebody who hasn't really got a lot of injuries, but know what a broken hand looks like. Well, I mean, I, I fractured and dislocated my wrist. Why did you punch people? Over the last two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might want to go and see a doctor. Infinite animations. How you doing, buddy? Like the idea of having chat on both Twitch and YouTube. It's quite fun. Right. Or minor. This one over here. One way to tell if a bone is broken is to test the bone itself. If it moves and shifts in ways that shouldn't, you've broken it. If it feels like it's in one place, you've either bruised it or chipped it. Yeah, I've done that as well. Uh, Monday is when I was in jail, so that's the last time it was injured. Yeah. I'd, I'd maybe go and see a doctor. And I'm going to assume that you're in jail because you punched somebody. Is it the somebody who's caused problems within the house world? It will heal, bro. Maybe, but it won't ever be good. You look like a ghoul. We are building. We are building. Hey, uh, is that have we got? Have we got nine grand? Nine thousand that left, maybe. Yes, the dude. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, cool. He deserved it. I'd go and get yourself sorted, though. That still sucks. Go to the ER now. Uh, that's the thing. Is like, does he get? Does he really want to pay for it? Can you ever make a tip video about the DLC? Strange, you should say that. Infinite. I am actually working on that. I have. I have my notes already. A bit of business that I'm doing. I've recorded two sections of it. I need to edit that through that lot through first, and anything else I can rack my brain to stick into this video. Yeah, basically, that's that's what I'm aiming for. Yep. 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 And then I've got like one other thing in my head that I want to do before I, I do like finish off. And it is um, basically it'll be a video about um, speed running like the first section of the uh, game. Oh, horrible location. First time watching since the DLC. What's your opinion on it? I like it, personally. Um, my review for it comes out tomorrow. It's going to be a fun one, that. I am looking for an ore miner, and it's on the freaking path. Right, facing this way. I'm facing the wrong way. It's behind you. This way. There it is. Yep. Great to catch you later. How are you doing, Steve? Welcome. Right, chuckle this in. Hopefully we've got enough. 
9,800. Oh, yes. Core stone. Not enough. Oh, yes. And Cloutium. Cloutium bar. Get in my belly. Right, that's two achievements done. First mod to install the defog. I <laughs> can play. I would agree, actually. the de The fog in this game is. I don't like it. What I find annoying about the DLC is that you have to drive more. That's because it's bigger. Welcome to the world. I mean, if you go to a bigger country, you have to travel more. So, we went to a bigger island that isn't a district, and it's we have to drive more. So, I haven't got a problem with that. What you do is, uh, if you hold yourself up in like Lumberton Bluff, you're in the middle of everything. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just turn your brain off and drive. Shut off and drive, drive, drive. Okay, fully loaded with the maximum amount of an abandoned mine. Oh, okay, let's go and do that. The uh, the golden one should be nearly done. Takes about 10 minutes to reload that one. So let's go. And then I've got to try and figure out what the hidden achievement is. And I don't know what it is. I just seen Gold Rush the game change the name. Yeah, they had to. Um, obviously, actually, I, I did a video on it. But basically, it comes down to uh, the whole debacle with like discovery ending the contract and so on and so forth, and the team moving forward with the game but not being able to use the legal name or any of the stuff. And bits. you get it, you know. It was never to bear. Never to bear. Best plot for traveling Riverside. It's actually not. So, I like Waterside. Waterside for me is like, I, I prefer it as a plot. But the best one, if I'm going to be brutally honest, because I'll, I'll have to show you this, right? If you look at the map here, so Waterside is here. And then we've got New Glade and we've got Burville. So, conveyor belts and shops. All good. Where's your shop for logic? Where's your shop for building stuff? The other side of the island, down in Shad. And where's the, where's the entrance to get to Volcalidus? It's here. So you have to go all the way up and around. And that's, re that's a pain in the ass. But if you put yourself at Lumberton, you're next to a shop that sells the bare essentials. You're just down the road from New, New Glade, which is a good sort of like amount to travel. You're also a good little distance away from Shattered Outpost, which is about the same distance to New Glade. So that's smack bang in the middle. Also, to get to Volcalidus, it's exactly the same distance. So Lumberton is almost the perfect plot. But yeah, is there any way to make the motorcycle less annoying? Um, stand on the back wheel and aim just towards the fuel tank. That's how I had to do it. Yeah, I like Waterside though. Waterside for me is like it's basically um, uh, South Hope, so yeah. Um, but it's all good. This one, um, Cinder Footing. I actually, for anybody who's got like a mediocre PC, genuinely, this plot's actually quite good. It's got a decent amount of footprint in the bottom, and it will. It's got a lot. Of, it's got a decent amount of space. It's right next to a lava pool, next to the shops as well, which is all right. But the footprint at um, let me actually let me just go and show you Lumberton because I'm waiting for one of the miners to like fill up. Yeah. My actually, I did a re my um, my plot review comes out tomorrow as well. So I did a review of all the plots in the game. That video comes out tomorrow. I show you all the footprints and my thoughts on each one and so on and so forth. So that comes out tomorrow, and my review of the game comes out tomorrow. Um, and then I've got to work on a tips video, and I've got to work on my uh, starting faster video because I think starting faster is better than starting in this game. And being able to just dig and get out is probably your best bet. Like, getting off a of dawn rest is basically your first step and you need to do it faster. I kind of figured out the... I think I found out like a really good way of doing it. Can you do a plot tour? I, I'm doing a plot tour tomorrow in a video. It comes out at midday. Uh, militant Canoe. Welcome. How's my day going? My day's doing really well. I actually don't mind today. Today's been okay. Good weather. Kids went out and like... Hurt themselves falling over with their scooters, but apparently that's fine. Lumberton Bluff. This is why I think Lumberton Bluff is like one of the best plots in the game. Because you've got a massive footprint, so you've got a decent amount of ores, 
you're not that far away from like everything everything is basically the same distance away from everything this place if i if i thought like, this is my number two plot definitely it's a good plot it's a good size it's good everything so if you want a good plot of land obviously they're all five grand and you want something that's sort of in the middle of everything this is your best place it really is and that's just my honest opinion uh, where are your veins? <laughs> I got one, I think, in my in my plot of land. I'm well annoyed. Hey, Ibrid, love all your content. Always light into my day. Thank you very much. Hey, not bad. Thank you very much, Papa, for watching. It's most appreciated. Who just followed me? Darren Sprud over on Twitch. Welcome to the party. Well, I say party, live stream. Just hang out, man. We're just chilling. I am going to start actually playing the game in a bit. I'm just, I've just unlocked all the miners, so now I've just got to wait until this one fills up all the way, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, look at me, I've got something else. <sighs> Still don't understand them. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be like the last big bash of like videos and streams. Still going to be streaming tomorrow, still going to be streaming Sunday though, so get ready for more. Oh, it's going to take a long time. This takes about 10, 15 minutes. How far down do you have to go to get Cloutium? Two squares. So if you get a big concrete block, place it down on top of the surface, and then you want to go below that, and then below it again. So you need to go two blocks below surface, then you'll Cloutium. Do you have a, a stream scheduled, or is it just uh, when you are a free evening? I normally stream Fridays and Saturdays. They're like my main stream days. Um, I'm doing one on Sunday because really I've got nothing else to do. The kids go back to school on Monday. I'll be fine. But it is mainly just sort of... I, I, I stream those two days all the time. And then I try to release content during the week and stuff. I do find that the DLC is difficult to start. Core Stone. Core Stone is tier 2 and below. So you have to go below tier 1, basically. You play power? No! Papa Furby, thank you very much for the dino. A boom to you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's awesome of you. How much wood would a ch woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Lots. And depending if he's chucking it any further than normal. Thank you very much, Papa Furby. Means a lot. It really does. After hitting 20k over the week, oh my god. I got a little bit emotional, that. If you go back and watch that stream, go go to the last stream I did and then watch the end where I hit 20k and I'm like, oh, my, my brain just sort of stopped. Do the crafted drills have stars? I No, you have to get buff stones, like forge marks, okay? That's why you need... So that big purple thing over there, the thing that looks like an acorn with a hook on it, that's basically a buff stone. Or what I call buff stones. Okay, there's a little bit of a, a discrepancy here. So, the reason why I call them buff stones is because when Max like first announced the game was coming out and he announced the DLC, he said these were called buff stones, but he hadn't decided on a name. That point, my brain went, they're called buff stones. That's how I refer to them. Even though when you melt them down and you're physically holding the ball in your hand, it says forge mark. I still call it a bloody buff stone. Now, I'm calling them icy acorns. Because when you pull it out the floor, it looks like a freaking acorn. Yeah. But yeah, I, I still call them buff stones. <laughs> yeah, back in my day! Them accursed stones. Text a joke. How you doing, by the way, man? So no, what you have to do is you have to craft a drill or a piece of equipment, which is why you have the models, um, with one of the stones. So you put the stone inside the crucible, and then when you pull the lever, you've got a chance of hitting like um, a one, two, three star piece of equipment, or one, two, three star drill, or you can even get it debuffed. So there's a there's a little bit of a risk there for you as well. So that's fun. Right. So as I've got to wait a little while until the drill's fully done. Uh, I suppose we better start melting stuff back into the into the fold. I do need to get myself a couple more drills. So, Cloutium, iron, boom. Let's go. Let's go and get some more, shall we? 
we'll be okay. Let's just shove some of this back in here. Pull the lever, Krug! I will actually, because I've got to. Right, stick that in there. If I turn the machines on, that would be brilliant. I am going to, I'm probably going to make a video of me turning this into a conveyor belt because I can, more than anything. But I want to do that when I've got the heavy harvester because that thing's going to take up a lot of room. And I've got to move things around and we'll get things done. Yay. Go ahead and make my plot look like a four year old built it. That's okay. Right, so that's my drills on, that's the plot working, we're all good. Right, I need Cloutium, I need Iron. Did I bring a, did I take a gold bar with me and I've just forgotten where it is? Huh. Oh, did I bother, no I didn't bother taking gold with me because I don't need, you didn't need gold for doing the, the miners. Right, let's go to the let's go to the top of Valcaladis. Let's go drilling. I don't know if I can get I don't think I can get up the volcano in this. Not like up the sides like I would with the hauler. Uh, I have put thirty two hours since I bought it the other day. Yeah, dude, I've done. <laughs> During the beta, I'd done like 160 hours. Um, and then I did all the videos. So I recorded all those basically in like two days. So I did like 10, 15 hours of recording. And then I did all the editing. And then we, and then like day of release, what we did a five, six hour live stream. And then a couple of days later, I did another live stream and another live stream. I think I've probably done about 30 odd hours in live streams, maybe more. And mainly just the videos and stuff. I've spent too long doing stuff. And then like, I've been playing it offline as well. Because I've had to do like Getting the tokens. Getting 100,000 tokens is not an easy feat. Right? It's just constantly bloody grinding. Talking to people you don't care about. Like making them things. And it's like cool. I'm doing stuff. And now I've got 100k. Now I bought the statue. I still need to buy the miniatures. Which means I need to do like another. I don't know. 10,000 tokens. Which I'll do tomorrow morning. And then it'll be done. So when I come on to stream, I'll just be building drills. What game do you play off cam? This at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I've been playing this offline because I, I want to. I want to get all the achievements done. I want to get all that finished off. Um, yeah, I haven't really played much. I played Cable Guy. So I did a little. I did a little video. Uh, was it a video or a live stream? I can't remember. Basically, it's a game called The Cable Guy, and you're basically wiring up like pre, re. Um, they're randomly generated offices with cables to like wire up the internet with different coloured co uh, cables. And I've been playing that like I do that for like an hour a day because I'm getting old and I need something that keeps it going. It's like like I know really old people play Sudoku. I play this, and it. I'm sort of getting the gist of like trying to like take shortcuts and this, that and the other and everything else. So it's getting easier and it's getting better. I'm actually like I'm focusing a bit more on it as well, which is quite nice. But that's because it's a puzzle game and I don't normally play puzzle games. But this one I actually enjoy, so I'm alright. How do you find out how many hours you've played like since X amount of days? <sighs> Is there a way of finding that out? My game time. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, how do I find out how long I've played Steam games? Discover total hours. No, that would be depressing. Other than recording, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So there's no way. Basically, when I start, when I played, when I started playing the DLC, I was like 1300. Now I'm at like 15, 1600. It's been, a, it's been a nice long grind. 
Anyways, claudium and iron. That's what we need here. Let me just shut that off. Cool. Ah, uh, pull the lever, Grog. Just out of curiosity, has anybody stood inside this thumper when it's coming down? Because if you haven't, you're about to see why. Aha! Drill! <laughs> and we found out why the drill makes a... It, why the thumper makes a drill in like random locations all in this circle. It's to stop the lag. Because if you ever played like the first game, when you just build drills on one platform, you're like... That's a lot of drills in one place. Oh, and then all of a sudden they're, they're like massing around and everything. It's like, bad. And now, with this now, because it goes in different locations, they're technically not like stuck together. So, yeah. I don't know how much I've got left, so I'm just going to keep making them. I need to make one big row because this is going to be the reason why I'm going to make so many clout uh, big, like, big drills. Will it deposit drills into... Oh, good question. I haven't tried. Hey, we're going to try a live experiment right now. If it doesn't, it's all Steve's fault. <laughs> Get ready for disappointment. I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Jackass. No, it, it, it spawned it through. But I like the thinking. Yeah, the truck just pings off into the air and then goes on with drills. Shit! <laughs> How am I getting this back? With luck. But it had all my... Actually, the plus side, that hasn't got all my money on it. All my money is on a table at my plot of land. <laughs> Need to move all my drills down to tier two. Yeah, screw that. Like, I would have done that way before. That's just how I roll. Uh, everything got moved I, as soon as I'd opened up like tier two like stuff. I was like, no, I'm gone. I'm down. I'm going. I'm, I'm gone because I didn't want to do it when I had like ten or eleven drills. I wanted to do it after I had like three. I just moved from dawn rest to water side, and I am mining deeper than before. And I feel like I'm getting less clautium and core stone. Well, that is because when you were doing it at like dawn rest. You were firing into a bucket, weren't you? Right? So you're not supposed to be able to do that. Well, you are, but it sort of sort of tips the scales in your own way of like, you're not supposed to, you shouldn't be doing this, but you can. It's in the game. It's fine. Now, the reason why you think you're getting less is because you're firing on a conveyor belt. So it's going to take more time for all of that stuff to come up the conveyor belts, which means it's not being fired directly into a pan. And that's the joys. Now, core stone, you don't get core stone until you get into tier two. So tier two, pain in the butt. You have to get down there first before you actually get core stone. And cloutium is two blocks down. The only reason why you were getting it, I'm going to assume, is you were firing into a pan where you're allowed to get it. That's just the way I see things, though. Huh? I get asked a lot huh? for this, this sort of thing. And yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that's the reason why. Josh Buckley, how you doing? I just started and I have five drills to go to tier two. Oh, they're fine. Five's fine. I found it funny when somebody had set up like 20 or so at like dawn rest. And it was like, I need to move to a bigger plot of land. It was like, yeah, you're going to have fun with all that. <laughs> Don't do it, kids. It's dangerous. <laughs> and the reason why I'm buying so many is because I have to. I need to line at least one conveyor belt with just a shed ton of drills. And that's why I'm doing it. And I know people go, but isn't it a waste? It's like, no, my plan. I have a plan. My 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 final plan is a plan, and it will be planned. It's going to be a good plan. Don't worry. I will go until I've got no more elements left. Until I can't do it anymore. But we'll be here for a little while. It's fine. And then we got to set all these bugs up. That's going to be awesome. 200 drills at tier 3. Uh, sort of. 
That, I took everything with me. The only things that are like, left at the other place are my old hopes and dreams. Oh yeah, on this day. Good evening, Indy Ho Indy Hosa Trekkie. Hi! Sorry if I can't pronounce your name right, I am an absolute dipshit. <laughs> Good evening, hybrid and chat. How you doing, Russ? Welcome in. But yeah, so today is literally just buy up as much, well, make as many drills as possible, and then try and get it all done by... Well, in, in like the next hour and a half, preferably. Oh, can you stop jumping backwards, you muppet? Well, this is where I bring a skeleton. No, I'll be right. I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to keep forging and just be happy. I had like forty-one thousand iron, but I can't remember how much clout in my head. Probably not a massive amount, though. Maybe a couple of thousand. see how things go but whatever I get out of this you're about to you know my, my plot goes from having just four drills running to having like however many I'm just building so it's gonna be good it's gonna be big it's gonna be big and then there'll be so much elements pouring through that building up tier with well, the heavies is just gonna be easier and then I can spend tomorrow just forging stuff for people so I can buy all the miniatures, get my tables sorted, and then start improving my base to actually make it look like an actual mine. Because at the moment it just looks like a floating platform with stuff on it. So It's not great, but it's, it's far from where I want it to be. By the time I'm finished, I don't know if I'm going to be able to run it. That's, that's the plan. Uh, new to the channel, have started uh, three saves, and for each one, I cannot find the last bone. Good luck, because you starting three different saves has three different sets of spawn locations. So you screwed yourself over by doing three different saves. It's, it is that bad. <laughs> uh, sorry for my name, Indiana. Oh, that's fine. Indiana, we... we we have this strange nickname of Hoy. Oh, okay, Hoser. Okay, yeah, so an indie Hoser Trekkie. Gotcha. Hoser is fine. That's Canadian, right? Hoser. Yeah. Here, your Hoser. Uh, uh. <gasps> Are we out? Have I finally made enough? Right, okay, that's fine. Think more Ho. Yeah. Right, so we are done. I don't know how much I've got left. Guaranteed clouting is the reason why I can't make any more. Probably. Right, let's go and set all these up. Let's get something rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Like an owl. Yeah, a hooser. Yeah, that's what I said, hooser. Oh, but I uh, found a fun thing with the lava tra uh, lava tank thing. It sticks out to the wall. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're using the hauler, you can drive around plots like vertically. I do, if you watch my video on it, you can drive at the volcano. It's fine. Do as I am. Go up and down the map. Uh, for, so what I did. If you want the way that I found all the bones, how I went about it was, I looked at the map and I. I would search within the perimeter of this road and then I'd go over here and search the perimeter of this road and then I'd search the islands and then I'd search this road here and this road here and then this road here and then this road here and I did that all the way around the map. Now there are two locations in here in the Barrens. There's one at the oil rig which is there and there's one at the Barrens Harbour which will be at the seafront to the right hand side as you look at it. 
The other one that's catching a lot of people out is at Burville. There's a little bridge at Burville, and a lot of times that I've spoken to people, they're like, I've got one more left. Okay, have you found the one at Burville Bridge? No. And they go there, and they go, oh. And it's literally just, just a little tuck under the bridge. Just a little one. And it's so annoying because it's catching so many people out because of just how fast you go down the area. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who who haven't found that one. Yep. So, basically, you're looking for just one bone in a really, really stupid place. Some of the ones that I found that were in really stupid places, one of them is actually along this ridge. I'll show you this one now. So, one of them is... It's next to a lava pit. <laughs> Not this pit. It'll be along this ridge, or there's a little lava pit on the bottom of here. But yeah, they're all in there as well. Like in the ice maze, there's like four or five different locations. Up by Scoria, there's like seven or eight different locations. The waterfront at Scoria that overlooks Burville, that's a pain in the butt because there's some down there as well. But then you might have missed the one that was on the island on top of the little hill. You know, some of them are really easy locations, but you just overlook them. The best way to do this is to take one of your saves. Actually, well, you could, I mean, do you care about achievements? Because if you don't care about achievements, go into creative, go and pick up the flying hat and turn the uh, time to like night and just fly around and find the glowy stick. That's all you need to do. If you care about achievements, duplicate one of your saves, go into creative mode and fly around at night. And then when you find it, you use that sa you use the original save and then you go off and you find the bone. That's what you would do. But because they're all in different because you're you're looking for one random bone that could be in one of 65 to 70 locations, yeah, you and each save has a different set of bone saves, then it's just going to be different each time. And that's the worst part. It's just everything changes. Always. Fun and games. Anyways, don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying this stream or anything I've done on this channel, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. Because, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. By the way, next week, I have no idea what I'm doing after I finish Hydrania. Like, after I finish all my videos for Hydrania, I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Anyway, this is why I wanted a big line of, like, drills, because I have a big line of drills... That has to be put here. All across here. It reminds me of when I found all the power armor in Fallout. I just lined them all up in the, in, the, in the street. I was like, that'll do. That's a cool collection. Yeah, I spent a long time doing <laughs> How did you find all these? I went around the whole map looking for power armor. And every location I could find some, I added it to my location of power armor. And then I built a museum.
But yeah, so my, my advice to anybody who... Uh, I will probably put this up as an actual, um, like, in my tip video. Actually, give me a second. Let me just write this. This is a good idea. I'm going to put this down. Uh, bone hunting tip. Boop. So. Right. So, I'll, I'll do this one for your live, but you can pay attention to it if you really want. Basically, if you're having problems finding the bones in the game, if you go into your save files for this game, so you have to go into uh, your computer, users, you, whatever you named your drive, um, and then you go down to app data, local, low, or local, sorry, go down to mining, go down to save game, go down to save games, go into that and you'll see, like, Volcaladus and everything else. What you want to do is you want to duplicate that save, name it something else, like, I don't know, um, Poopy, or whatever you want to call it, right? Load into that save, okay? And then turn on creative mode and go flying at, at night, because the bones glow better at night time, and then you'll be fine, and you'll find what you're looking for. The downside is that, that that save then becomes compromised, but you will find the bone, and then when you load up your original game, which is in creative mode, you go off and you go and find the bone. You know where it is. It's all good. You're going to call your saves poopy. Okay, that's fine. Go for it. Be happy. <laughs> But yeah, so that that's what I would do. I mean, if I'm having that much trouble, that's what I've done to some, uh, for other people as well. So there was a couple of people in the Discord who were getting very annoyed, let's say. So what I did was that I took their save. I then went into my I went into my game. I turned I went onto creative mode, turned it nighttime because it's all dark. Because you can use the um, Alberto Torres Padilla. How you doing? So you can use the hourglass to change it at night time, fly around the map, and check certain locations. Or, if you're really weird, if you're really annoyed, right, go into... When you're driving around, don't forget to scroll the wheel back so you can see more. Also, use the screen camera, right? Because once you start using the screen camera... You can look around a bit more up here, and you can see a lot more. So, if you can see it in this distance, even if it's at night time, you'll be able to see like a glow. That's all you need to find. You just need to find that little pinprick of a glow, and it'll be somewhere. And then you move forward like 500 feet, and you do it again. You zoom out, you look around again. That's all you got to do. There's various different ways you can mess around with the camera to look at certain things. And that's just one of them. But that's the one I would use, because, well, it's because it's the one I would use. I need so that's got I'm not sure how many I've got in there I'll chuck that there for now How far the glow? I don't actually know. I never had to use it. I I I got. St I'm just stubborn, so I just looked around until I found them. That's just me, though. Like I said, you just use any advantage you can think of to upgrade graphics or anything else, or look for a shiny bit of like glittery thing in the distance. Do it. Because if it's just one bone left, it will drive you mad. Like there are people in the Discord who look like they, who probably look like they, should, they belong into like an insane asylum after that because. Looking for the bones in this game is... <sighs> it's not fun. Let's put it that way. It's just not fun. Damn it.
Why not save the curved pipes and run T pipes directly into the drills? Because that's not the way I do things. Sorry. Because I want it all to be uniformed and nice. And I don't really care about the pressure. Because I'm going to be putting a pressure tank here and all this will just be powered off of that anyway. It's just me. Don't play the game like me. I'm just an idiot. I mean, just... It's the aesthetic I'm going for, man. Just like, whoa, dude. But yeah, I want to basically, I'm going to take the the booster pipe from there and put it down here. So it's just closer. So full letters on sale on Steam, like big sale. I know I've got them all. I, I, I'll show you this, actually. I am, I'm a big Fallout fan. Do, 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 do. Do 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 display mode. So Fallout 1, 2, 3, Game of the Year Edition, Fallout 4, 76, 76 pay to serve, New Vegas, Tactics. I haven't got shelter just because I can't bother for shelter. Fallout London, oh, I'm looking alright for it. But then it's been announced that Fallout, um, they're calling it Vault 13, but there's basically a remake of uh, the first Fallout as well as coming out. I'm like, okay, cool, I'll get it as well, because I like the first game. It's pretty cool, but it's just old now. If you go back and play the old Fallout, you're like, wow, this game hasn't aged very well. Did you like the show? Uh, yeah, I really did. I, I really enjoyed the show. As a, I've got to be honest, I'm a, I'm a, I was a massive critic of the trailer because... I didn't want... I've seen too many TV shows fail and really crap up. And I'm like, I, I really wasn't feeling comfortable. But then the way I saw it, I was like, you know what? Actually, after watching after watching the show and actually watching how everything was done, the, and the attention to detail as well, I was like, you know what? I can get behind this. This is actually all right. I, I'm, I'm good with this. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I, out of the three characters, I really didn't, I, did, I couldn't really understand Maximus too much. I was like, I don't know, there's just something about him. I just wasn't really digging it. But, Ghoul, like, um, Cooper and, uh, and Lucy, they were done really well. Like, writing was really good. Uh, you basically, what I found funny about it was the TV show sort of played the same way as we would play the game. Where you've got your main quest, like, Lucy's main quest is basically... I don't know if you haven't found it, so spoiler alert, Lucy's main quest is to find her dad. Pretty much like Fallout 3, you know, all of a sudden your dad's disappeared and you've got to go and find him. Cool. But it was like it was like playing the real game. Her main objective is to go and find her dad. Three episodes in, or four episodes in, it's like, side quest! And then she just went off in different, and you're like, okay, we're going, we're doing side quest now. Excellent. <laughs> but yeah, it was all good. It, I liked it, I really did. Like I said, it were it could have the the problem with the way it was done, and this just comes down from a like a, a law per, a law perspective, is that they changed some of the law a little bit to suit Bethesda's needs because obviously Bethesda are making the games. Now they are yes, yeah, so it was the clarity that did it. Um, obviously because Bethesda are making the games now and not Obsidian, they changed some of the law a little bit. But apart from that, I'm fine. I haven't got a problem with it at all. So I'm good. Yeah. That, that was literally watching. Like it, Basically, it watched like you were playing the game. You know, you're following your main characters, and all of a sudden you get sidetracked. Like, Fallout 1 and 2 were exactly like that as well. you were like, oh, you need to go down to New Reno, and you need to do this. Okay, cool, I'm going to New Reno. I'm just going to stop off here for a minute and see if I can get myself some more ammo, though. And then you end up doing, like, 500 missions there, basically. That was just... It's squirrel brain. Oh, no, no. When it came to Fallout, I just enjoyed playing it. But it did inspire... I was sitting at the end of it going, you know what? I could really go back to playing Fallout 4. 
or Fallout 7. I would go back to playing 76, actually, because 76, even though people like Slater, it does give you a bit more of like an open world feeling of the game and like the dangers of the wastelands and everything. So, yeah, I, I, as I said, I just enjoyed it. I had fun with it. It was good. And I'm glad... Uh, I'm glad they actually got it right because too many TV shows nowadays have gone like really and this is going to it's my own personal review like review of the way things are. Uh first off yellow boom thank you very much for becoming a member of the hybrid steel mosh pit. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah my my whole gripe with a lot of TV shows nowadays is it comes down to a lot of like political agenda that's being thrown into a lot of TV shows. You know, everything has to tick a box, this, that, and the other, and so on and so forth. There was a little bit of, t like, tick, but you know, box ticks in. Like, um, Cooper's missus is a black lady, which I haven't got a problem with, but they had to include a main sort of character as a black person. So they brought in her, his wife as a black character. Strong female character, so she was very good. I enjoyed her character. It was really well put together. Um, Cooper himself, you know, white guy who's just a little bit troubled and then turns into a ghoul, which sort of sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of, like, I would say there's a couple of beta males, like, um, Lucy's brother is a, is a real beta male, like, really small dweeby guy, gets into computers a lot, sort of like, okay, he's, he's, uh, he plays a good role, I like that, um, and the, uh, the, I can't remember the gatekeeper's name in Vault 33, but literally, he's like, okay, he's sort of simping for the blonde guy, the blonde girl, apart from that, it was fine, casting was completely fine. I enjoyed it, so I'm, I'm all good with it. Found out this game is coming to PlayStation. Don't know when, though. Cool. When's it coming to PlayStation? Because I haven't been told a single thing, and I'm in that community quite a lot. Unless it was told today and I wasn't there. Which part of the repair system needs to be pointed at the water filters? Both parts. Um, our, like the magnifying glass sections up top, uh, hurler to the side. And the filter has to be on the side of a pipe. I'll show you when we get back. I don't need a straight pipe. By the way, this is how everybody should be shopping in, in Hydra. Uh -huh. Use a cart. The spanner thrower can be facing downwards as well. It can be, but it's a bit of a... You know, I mean, when it comes to reloading, it's like, do you really want to do that? I mean, the way I'm going to do it, and I will be messing around with it at some point, is I will be basically messing around with um, how it all sits and what it sits on. Because I'm actually going to put a conveyor belt underneath it. I haven't bought these yet. Um, I'm going to be putting a conveyor belt underneath it because I want to put loads and loads of spanners on the run so I never have to mess around with it too much. Basically. So I'm just going to load up a conveyor belt with like a hundred like tool bags and just leave it running and just don't care. That's just how it is. But yeah, it was a lot, a lot of reviews I've read of Fallout as well is um, can you water it? Yeah, sort of. I'll, I'll explain. Actually, I can show you. I'll have to show you in a different save, though. Um, let me just park. Uh, is that going to still be running when I come back? Probably not. Let me just turn all this off first. And then I can show you how where I'm going to be taking this build. So it involves changing this up a little bit, but it won't be too bad. You're here for the whole night. I won't be. I'll be here for like another hour, hour and a half. And then I'm going to go to bed. And then I'll be back. Tomorrow. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when my kids are back in bed. So when it comes to the things that are pointed, that's how I have mine. 
So spanner hurler pointed at the filter, the reader pointing down. And yeah. 5 p.m. view? Yeah, it's like it's half past ten here. You wasted a hundred spanners in thirty minutes, yeah. Yeah, so if you build it forwards as well, because if you build it reader first, the reader primes the circuit. So if you build it reader first, it goes click, okay, I'm on. And then you, as soon as you've connected the hurler to it, you go click, 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 click. It just kills it. If you take off that, the flip cable, it goes click, 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 click. It just goes. It, it doesn't matter because it's beaming a set of because this thing is pulsing inside the actual circuit. Every time it pulses, it will fire a spanner. Now, with the flip flop cable, it won't do it until the signal completes, which is when the filter gets to zero. Oh, yeah, that, that sucks as well. Right, they're off. That's off. Fantastic. Let's turn these off. Now, I will... I, I, as I said, I've got a lot of time I need to like do certain things. So, at the moment, very, very primitive way of turning things on and off. Primitive, yes. When I'm finished, I'll be able to go click and turn on at three different things when I'm finished. So, what I want to do with it is actually in my Season 3 build. So, we... We all started doing this as soon as we were allowed to clip things through the hurlers. This is what we all started doing as like it's a trend. So everybody else started doing it. And what you start doing is this. You start making a conveyor belt that runs underneath your spanner hurlers. And you start just putting these on here. And then as it's going round and round. Your conveyor belts go round and round. And as soon as one of those hurlers runs out of like one spanner, it will just click another one in and another one and another one and another one. And you just do that. You can just put, you can put as many on here. It might get a little bit laggy. So find your, like, find the main thing first. But this is what I'm going to do to my other thing. So that's the, that's what I'm, that's one of the things I'm looking to do. But I can't do it yet because I haven't got enough set up. So yeah, but it, it wasn't me that came out. It was I can't remember who it was in the Discord. It was one. Of, I think it was another nerd. Like if you look at us, we're all like Hydra nerds. Um, and someone else just went, "Oh yeah, you can do this." I'm like, "Oh yeah." So that's what we all started doing it. As soon as that one person found it, it was being copied and pasted. Every single person had it in their build because it just made life easier. You all you have to do is literally just dump tool bags on a conveyor belt and just leave it running. I mean, to put this into perspective, alone, this alone will run for nine hours straight if you just have it running with 20 spanners in each one. Obviously, the first this one will run out first, but for about, 20, for about nine hours, after nine hours, you need to reload it. So if you had a conveyor belt running with like 20 more tool bags on it, you've got like 20 hours worth of runtime. And then you put on another one, and then you've got like, 50, like 25 hours worth of runtime. And it'll get to a point where you've got enough tool bags running around that you just sit there and just go, I don't need to think about repairing my stuff ever again. So that's the plan. So I probably will have to raise it all. I'll probably have to raise this up one more belt, like one more top, and then put the conveyor belt underneath because I don't think I can run it through this rock. So I do need to raise it up by one. Or what I could do is I could bend this belt. Well, this bar that way and I could have my repair system here and have my lava flowing in from here but it just means like moving things around and jigging it about so it actually does have that space but that's the plan so yeah I can see let's game it out using this no he won't so let's game it out unless he actually watches my videos probably doesn't know it exists because there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of other people who really make Hydria content, and there's not a lot of people who broadcast that sort of thing. So unless he actually watched my content or he was in the Discord seeing it actually happen, I doubt he knows it exists. Or someone can, he just went, oh, I've come up with this idea of like auto repairing. So that's the problem. It's the, and this is what I I had this conversation where actually I had this conversation this morning. We, when you see like content creators make ga like video like videos about games like I do, so when it comes to like Hydra or just any other game, 
that a lot of those content creators just play the game for the videos. They make the videos and then they go off and do something else. They have They don't really take the time to learn a lot of it. Some do, and I, you know, I grant that. Some do, but a lot of them don't. So when it comes down to the little tiny things that I've picked up or other people in the Discord have picked up, those content creators may not have known about it because they don't. They're not really part of that community. They make their videos, they carry on, they entertain the crowds, they get what they want out of it, the crowd gets what they want, and they move on. For me, this became sort of, not so much an obsession, but it came part of a lifestyle, where Hydroneer was just something I really enjoy, so I'm going to keep playing it, and I'm going to learn about it, and I'm just going to keep enjoying it. Whereas, like, someone like, I don't know, let's say Dre, who goes off and plays the game, gets really pissed off with it, rages out a lot, and then goes off and plays something else and rages out about that or goes on. That's where I'm at. So, yeah, if it, unless unless Let's Game It Out really knows that that exists, I don't think he'll touch it. Yeah, I, as I said, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen his video about this game yet, so I'm going to assume he's still making it. Because I know he takes a little while making his stuff because he makes good videos. Right, on that note, let's go and put all my pipes together. Hopefully we've got enough. And then I need to go and get all my um, actual piping. And then move that around as well. And get all that jiggered. Hello, I'm in a rock. So another reason why I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it like this for now. Is because if I want to make another row of these. I'll just put another drill this side and I'll T-pipe them all together because that's what I'll be doing to the heavies as well So what I mean by that is that you've got this row of T-pipes underneath. If you want to dual up the whole stream, so you would just do this. You put another one in the back of it. And then you go from there. So you could have two rows of drills running off of one row of pipes. That's how we used to do... Um, is this tier one? Nah, this is, this is tier three. Me stuff. I don't know how you doing. Still think we need a fast sled. Gets a bit annoying pulling these up here. Huh? Right, so there's spare pipes. Need to go and get myself some actual piping and a shit ton of conveyor belts. Uh, no. So the way that the pipes work, the, the way the drills work in this is the lava drills will get you a decent reward off of bottom tier. Like where I've got them now digging, the average nugget's five pound. So you, you know, you, when you get those like quests like, I need a three pound nugget, just get a pan full of random nuggets who like mainly iron and cloudium and a few bits of gold. And then just have a pan full. So when someone says, I want a nugget, there you go, you can get that one, you don't have to worry about the change. Yep, I've seen that as well. I sat there and just went, okay, cool. And the reason I think that was uh, three eyed. I can't. Is it three eyed Neil? I can't remember his name. Basically, yeah, he he basically went, oh, it's an advanced one, and then stuck a light on it. Okay. I sat there and just went, doesn't really matter, because when I'm finished, I won't even have to look at it. Because the uh, I did a test. 
I don't know if I've got the screenshots for it. I may have them. Let me just go through my screenshot quickly. If I haven't got them, I know where they are, and I'll just rip them off of where I know where they are. Uh, I don't know if they're here. Because I took a couple of photos. That, no, I haven't. Right, okay, I know where they are. They, I'm going to have to rip them out the, um, ooh. I don't know if I can rip them out of the Discord. Did I make them public? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Okay, damn it. So what I did before, because I was testing the F, uh, the frame rates for uh, for like how much you can have on a conveyor belt, and so what I did was I had like twenty five heavy drills running onto a conveyor belt, and then all of those drills, like everything that came out of the harvester, went onto a circular conveyor belt. It just went round and round, and. It took a long time for it to start lagging on my machine. And then I exploded it by seeing how much was on it. And it basically filled up my sorting area. I just had ore everywhere. It took me 15, 20 minutes to clear all the magnet. So you can hold quite a lot on a, on a uh, thing now. So yeah. Where am I currently? I'm in Burville. And I'm picking up pipes because I need to pick up pipes because we need to start building out tier 3. It's going to be fun. That's what they keep telling me. Right, I need like these. I don't need a table just yet. Ah, Wilhelm. Spare one of those, though. Do you know how many tokens the big truck is off the top of your head? Four thousand eight hundred, I think. The tank's like six thousand something. Let's put it this way: go to the island with fifteen thousand tokens. You'll be fine. You also need four and a half grand for the roller, and that's in normal coin. Not in the other one. Take that with a grain of salt. Well, actually, no, don't take it as a grain of salt. That's gospel. Sorry. You need about... I, I'd, I'd take 15k with you in tokens and you'll be fine. You won't have a single trouble. And obviously take normal, like, hydrocoin for the roller. No problem, buddy. I, d I can't remember how many drills I made. So I'm just going to buy a random amount of conveyor belts. Worst comes to worst. Is it wasn't enough. Best case scenario, it was. Gotta be honest, though, having this much in money does make it a lot easier to do this. So much easier. 4,204, I was right. Well, sort of, yeah. 6,800 for the lava tank, 200 for the tickets there, 680 tokens for the motorbike. And if you really want another one, you can pick up another lava truck over there for like 550 quid. So basically, as much as I've spent on some actual real cars. Are there any bits of dirt or snow that stop the truck still? Um, not that I've seen. But I haven't made a bit of dirt small enough yet. Not like I had in, in the original like version. So there, I did have one problem with one of them where... <laughs> I had one of my saves were it had a tiny tiny grain of dirt in the middle of the land and I couldn't see it 
and it took me it took me forever to find it and I had to walk around with a concrete block looking for a tiny tiny piece of dirt it was horrible I take it uh, they uh, they patch the glitch or not have to pay for anything um, you can play in creative mode and not have to pay for a single thing That's how some people are playing this game. Is there anything after the heavy drills? Uh, no. Is Cloutium more common at tier 2? No, it's Cloutium after two blocks down. That's when Cloutium starts. My, my old video, which I did for 2.0, um, is the same law. So if you dig two two blocks below surface level, you, you'll you get Cloutium. The problem with it is it's rare. It, just, it takes a really long time to get a decent amount. Real, real long time. Has the forged shovel bug been fixed? What bug? The one that was like bringing out normal dirt? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's been fixed. You know what? We'll just head down there. I don't know if I've got enough conveyor belts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, not that one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. That's exactly the amount of conveyor belts I actually bought. That's amazing. All right, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with myself right now. Ah, oh, makes my life so much easier. Right, okay, so. Interesting. Oh. I think what I'm going to have to do um, I'm going to have to pop this here Right, so I need a T-pipe and a corner from upstairs. We're doing live surgery. Should I put heavy drill on tier 3? Yes. That's a silly question. Uh, I don't really have a silly answer for it, so yes, you should. Right, so now... Need this to go in here. I need that to sit on that one. That can go back up there. And then this needs to be a T pipe. Oh, I need another corner, so we need to go back upstairs. Let's go all the way. I do need a bigger area, like, since I cut out all the snow, definitely need more land. So, the reason why I did what I just did, 
was it creates a not a loop okay so what you do is you've got a pipe here that's just going to drip it's just going to drip on the floor now the reason why you do this is because if you have it where if it creates a loop it can create a stutter in your belt so don't have loops basically you'll be fine don't worry about it uh... stop in the opening i haven't got any spare i didn't buy one I'm not worried. It will just drip, but I turned off the drip noise, so I don't have to hear it. It's fine. <laughs> if I can't hear it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> right. That's 7,000. You know what? I actually don't care. We're going to pop that in there. I do know that. Actually, I do need that doubled. I need this cut in half, at least. So if this is 7,000, I need it at 3K. Bums. Right, let me just turn on my convey belts for 30 seconds then. Is there a, I've not done that one. Um, try clearing shat, uh, try clearing shattered mine site uh, and putting heavy drills in the box. Yeah. Shattered breach sucks, by the way. Don't go to shattered breach. My my personal preference, but that plot is way too small. And it's it's just so steep as well. It's not worth it. Really isn't. Now can I actually can I drop this one step lower? I might be able to be doing this actually. Because I need to move my tank. Oh yeah, right. So I need to take that off. We are going to be a plumber. Ah, damn it. Unstuck. It's probably easier. What's the first plot I should buy? Um, I have a video coming about that tomorrow, but me personally, um, you'll be happy in Waterside, or you'll be, depending on like how big you want to go. If you want to go massive, Waterside or Lumberton Bluff. If you want to stay medium, Cinder Footing. If you want to go small for some obscure reason, any of the other ones I haven't mentioned, and I'm going to be brutally honest and horrible right now, but Scoria is a complete blowout for me, and I didn't like it one bit. Just me though. You don't have to take what I say as gospel. I know some people do, but you don't really have to. Here's my personal preference of what I believe that a good plot is. And Cinder Footing actually isn't bad isn't bad. If I if I was running if I was running a slightly lesser computer, let's say I couldn't have I couldn't afford a like a 30 graphics card and money's a bit tight, so my computer runs a little bit slow here and there. I would go to Cinder Footing because actually it's not that bad. Basically. But if you want big, you can't get bigger than Waterside and uh, Lumberton. They're just they're 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 the places that places like me, um, well, who else is there? Like Robo Robocost, who's one of the guys in the Discord. He builds, I believe he builds here. Um, Higgs Bows on Matt over on Twitch. I believe he's building at, um, at Lumberton Buff. And he's going like big. So that's where I'm pretty much going to be. It's just he's he's got like days ahead of me. Because when he started streaming, he, he, he streams for a really long period of time. And whilst he was streaming, I was making videos. 
So, he, like, loads of people got a massive advantage over me. But now I'm basically done with my videos. I don't know what I'm doing next. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm on here. Every stream will be, I'll be doing something at least. Right, let's go and fit all the conveyor belts now. Bosh. Shattered mine is big enough. Yeah, but it's crap. I cleared it out. It's tiny. It's horrible. It's, it, you can put big drills on anything, but that one, that, that place is just too small. It got really narrow as well. When I got down to like tier three, my little roller was like, hey, I'm done. All right, we'll do the next layer. There is no more layers. We're done. Do you not understand? We are finished. And it was just so small. Still funny one. Boom! Thank you very much for following over on Twitch. Most appreciate to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. Popcorn, drinks, uh, wherever you've got them, because they're not in my place. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. What is the best way to open up water side? I don't know. I just rolled it out. You can tell by the tears. I just rolled. How did you empty your plot? With a roller and a, and a couple of hours. I'm not even joking. I did... When I did all the plots here, I did them all in like uh, like two days, but it was split. Over, it was split over two days. It took me about fifteen hours to clear every plot in the game, and it was just nightmare fuel. It was so boring. Oh, I keep doing that. That's really bad. Basically, you get the roller, and you dig a trench behind the back wheel, one square deep. Four squares wide, two squares width, and then when you've dug, when you've dug that out, you roll your roller back into the hole, and the roller drops down to the next layer, and then you just go about rolling out the whole place, and then you do that again, and again, and again, and you've got to do that practice twenty three times per plot because every plot is twenty three squares deep. I'm never doing it again, never. This will be my only save on this game, unless it corrupts. Because the amount of work I intend to put in this is is going to be quite a bit. So I'm not going to do it all. I'm not going to do like, oh yeah, I finished this one, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to finish this one when I say I'm finished. This is season one, and I don't think there's going to be a season two. I'm just going to keep playing, basically. The fastest way, if you want to do it, is through the Thor tank. If you have it all, if you have um, all three shops unlocked, so you can buy the Thor tanks boosters, so they go through tier two and tier three. And what you do with the Thor tank, we, I worked this out after I made my video. So in my video, I didn't cover this. But if you drive it backwards and push your gun, if you f fold your guns down, because it's got two flamethrower turrets on the sides of the tank. If you aim them down and drive backwards, you'll burn everything behind you. And then you turn around backwards and then you do the next layer and the next layer. And then you basically do it like farming sim where you go up and down farms, but you go up and down ice. And when you get down to tier two, you put your canisters in for tier two and you burn through tier two. And then you go down to tier three and you put your canisters in there. The Thor tank will only take about maybe 25, 30 minutes to get through the whole lot. And it is a lot faster. But if you do mess up, you're, it goes a bit wonky. So you have to like burn around you. But yeah, that, that's that's another way to be it. Uh, see you to do it. I see you use the simple filter repair method. Uh, I like the more advanced version that turns off the water and the lava. Yeah, but the thing when I'm finished, I will never have to turn that off. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be running a conveyor belt under this and never have to worry about it at all. Whereas everybody else will be like, oh, I need to fill up my spanners. I'll be right. Oh, when I'm done, I'll be I won't even have to turn anything on and off. It will just work. So that one there, that valve there, and that valve there will be on a separate lever. I won't need this soon because when I get the heavy harvester in it produces its own water, so I'll have that on there as well. I'll probably hook that up to um, the conveyor, but the one that hooks up to the actual lava pipe. So I just pull one and it turns off the water and the main flow of lava. 
um, because the main flow of lava just basically flows out the drills, which goes all the way down to the bottom. I don't need to turn that off until the water gets shot off on the conveyor belts, really. But then I could run a cable all the way from the bottom and just turn off my drills and just have everything else rocking. So, yeah, I, I've, it's as this isn't the first time I've done this sort of thing. But I'm just one. Of, I'm I'm a simple creature when it comes to like doing stuff, and when it comes to like messing around with all of this stuff, I prefer just going click, 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 and done, and not have to worry about anything. Because that's how I am. And here we go. The first of many. And as we get a bit more fun now, what's your favourite game of all time? I wish people, I know it sounds horrible, but I wish people would ask this because it's really hard. I've played so many games in my entire life. Um, I've got a couple of obscure, fa like, favourite ones. Like, I wouldn't say my favourite, favourite games, but um, off the top of my head, Jet Set Radio was pretty flipping awesome. If you've ever played Jet Set Radio in your life, it's a brilliant game. You should play it. Um, I was a big fan of the SOCOM series. And then I moved on to Call of Duty. And I just blitzed that for years and years and years. And then we're good. But yeah, then I've played like racing games, Jaguar XJ220 Racing on the Sega Mega Drive, which was on the which was on the Mega CD. I've played all the Sonics on the Mega Drive, and I played Wonder Boy and Alex in Wonderland and Spy vs. Spy and Car and all the bits and bits I played on the Master System. But yeah, it was it was a fun time. And there we go. Munching through dirt now. Om nom nom nom. But do you know why I prefer the simplicity of that filter section over anything else I ever make? or ever put together in this game is the fact that I don't have to touch that when I'm finished with it all I'll have to do is put tool bags on a conveyor belt and I'm fine we're just mulching now and this isn't even what I want to do with it this is just me building up elements because I'll be fine but yeah it's all good Next thing is to bring in the heavies, so we need to start doing tool work again for the joys of the game. But I do have this now. I'm happy with this. <laughs> it took too long. Alright, we've got 2,400. We need to do more tasks. And there are five in New Glade. Doug Bees in the chat. So when it comes down to like my favourite game, it helps if I'm playing on a certain system. So if someone says, what's your favourite Mega Drive game? I could probably narrow it down. If someone says, what's your favourite PlayStation or PlayStation 2 or whatever game? Nintendo. goes from there. My favourite Nintendo game is always going to be Zelda. I like Zelda. It's a good game. But then I'm quite partial to Mario as well. And Paperboy as well. Uh, I could probably get around to it maybe mate just a quick question and to see if your input on it what do you think of a plot underneath the volcano um, me personally I reckon it could be like ice helm so you would basically bore into it instead of down so that could be added but I don't know I've got this feeling and this is just my feeling of it I don't think Max is going to add anything to the DLC. And the reason why is because it's a downloadable content. What you see is what you get. No additions, no nothing. Oh, you horrible person. I had one of those earlier. Damn it. Right, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that. Annoying. But yeah, that's just the way I see it. I don't think... I genuinely don't think anything else is going to be added to this game. It's just a DLC. It doesn't need additions. It literally just needs maybe bug fixing here and there. But apart from that, 
I don't think it's going to be anything else. I can maybe see Max doing another DLC in the future if uh, he feels that Hydroneer needs to be padded out a bit more. But I don't think it's going to be anything that a lot of people think it's going to be. I think it's just going to be like another version of this. And if it is, then so be it. I'll play it. I ain't got a problem with it. I know other people just go, well, he's doing it for a ma he's doing it for a money grab now, but it's like he needs money. He has staff. He has to be able to pay for them. And you know, if you've got a downloadable content that's going to help you through like paying for stuff and getting more stuff being made, then I haven't got a problem with that at all. That's just the gaming market. At least he's not asking for like microtransactions and loot boxes and all the other shit that everyone else gets putting into it. I'm fine with it. And that's what I find funny more about this, when people go, oh, Hydra, it's just, it's just this crappy digging game, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, cool, but it doesn't come with, like, microtransactions or anything else that's quite predatory, you know, things that get people addicted, like gambling, you know, that sort of thing. Quite happy with it hasn't got it in it, you know. Uh, Demo Gaming, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Who does do things for, like, yeah. Yeah, everyone does it for money. But I think, for me, I mean, if I did something, I don't really do a lot for money. I just literally sit here and play games. YouTube pays YouTube pays a small penny, it's all good. You know, I get a little bit of pocket money here and there. But when it comes down to only a gaming studio, because that's what it is now, he's got, Max has got staff to pay for, he's got, like, upkeep on server to pay for. Obviously, he has to do, you know, you have to do all the bits of speed. You have to pay your own taxes. You have to do all the stuff that he has to do. So, you know what? Fair play to what he does. Fiverr to clear a tear. <laughs> no. I, 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 I've got to be honest. No, because people have to suffer. And I feel that when you've suffered enough, you like it more. Because you put the time into it. You took it. You did it. You're fine. You are good. This game is one dev. Uh, it used to be. Max used to be on his Todd. Um, now there's four people. And that includes Itchy. Uh, whole bums. That's not going to be good. Um, I wouldn't say it's better than most AAAs, but it's definitely got a bit more of a sort of... I don't know, it's got it's got a bit more of a kick in it, you know? I, I, I prefer games like this because it sorts my brain out more than anything. And the joy of not buying... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Happy to pay a lowly $10. Exactly. I mean, that's the other thing. Like, the, co the cost of this game is pennies in comparison to, like... Oh, yeah, this game just... I mean, look at Destiny. You had to buy all the DLCs more. They were like 30 quid a DLC. This is like $10. One DLC on Destiny was more expensive than this whole game. He used to play Gold Rush and couldn't find it because the name changed. Yeah, it's called Gold Mining Simulator. Leaderboard started the other day as well. well is it, it started today. I'm not in this one. I'm going to be in leaderboards going into like October, November time. Because it gets rid of my, my, my... Rolling up to Christmas, it helps out there. I like streaming towards Christmas because it it takes the stress out of life. Right, so I need these bits for people who go, I need this. Yeah. Horrible people. Horrible, horrible people. Right. So, first, 166.5 weight of gold bar. Uh, click. One sixty-six. So that's one sixty-seven because it's a point five. Six, seven, done. Ugh. Have I seen the price of the new Star Wars stuff? Yes, and I laughed my ass off. No one is going to pay that much money, but there, there will be some morons out there to go, 
Well, I like the game. It's like, yeah, but you really like giving money to the wrong people, don't you? Whoever, I'm going to be I'm brutally honest, and I'm going to hold my hand up and say this, but if you are stupid enough to buy the, that game, you're an idiot. It's that simple. Destiny 2 is a brilliant game. Where, yeah, but the thing is, is that, like I said, like Destiny's like DLCs. If you look at how much they were over the t over the time of games, what ten years, a ten year plan, and each DLC was like twenty five quid. So one DLC for Destiny accumulates to how much this whole game costs you. This and the DLC for this game. So it's, and that's just how I see things. It's like, is it going to be cheaper than this? Probably not. So I'm not going to get my money's worth really. For me, it's like pound an hour. Basically, if I pay a game for ten dollars and I get ten hours out of it, I'm happy. Okay, so eighty-six core stone. Let that one drop. Two hundred and sixty eight gold bar. Yeah, that'll just mulch away. Oh, wow. So all the stuff is on the floor that I left here. So to put this into perspective, technically at this point, I've finished Hydronit. Apart from I've got to go and do an ore miner in a minute, which I will have to go and do. But we is rolling. Gold second, yeah, it was. That's right. Destiny two, it's free. Yeah, but the DLCs won't. That's what I'm getting at. And originally, I think I actually bought Destiny because I I bought it when it first came out. Now, yeah, we got in the pan. We'll be fine. Uh, 164 ruby. That's that. Damn it. Should have enough. 164. Now I know some people go, Ooh, why would you keep turning them off? It's like, so I can undo them. I'm, a, I'm an advocate of let, like put, wind them up to a basic switch so I can turn them on and off so they open. So I don't have to turn everything else off just to open them. I'm okay like that. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, if you, if you bought the DLC over time, when it comes to De when it comes to Destiny, you never really thought about the cost of it. You just bought it and were just happy buying it. But if you look at how much you spent on it over that time, you're like, Jesus! How many games could you have bought for the same cost of all the DLC? So, it, it's the way I see things. I mean, I'm a person who doesn't have a lot of money, so I look at everything as a, a frivolous spending when it comes to gaming. A lot of the games I own are under twenty quid. A lot of them now. Because I can't afford a AAA game every time. And I, I just can't do it anymore. And when you've got like, you know, not a lot of anything, you do go back You go back to basics of like what you start to enjoy again. And this is why a lot of people are buying older games now just to play, because they're enjoying them more. <sighs> you 
You need to learn logic stuff. Ah, oh, I don't do logic. I only built I only build that circuit. That's just for repairing. Okay. Uh 170 gold bar. My gold, we're building a necklace, I think. Here we are. 153 iron. Great. Fifty-three boom. I have one Destiny DLC. I think, yeah, I think I got the free one as well. Yeah, if you if you buy a humble bundle, it's a good deal. I mean, yeah, but if yeah, like Marv Raff, she's got Destiny two and and basically all the DLCs, and it was like twenty six quid on humble bundle. So if you're gonna buy like a big bulky game. Check out Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle's amazing. I get my upgrade to... Because I use um, Sony Vegas to do editing and stuff. So I use Humble Bundle to get my bundle of that. I will literally wait until it comes out on there. And I'll be like, cool, right, that's my next upgrade. And that's what I do. And it only costs me like 20 quid. But Humble Bundle's good. And it's and most of it goes to charity anyway, so it is all good. Gold bar, iron bar, boom bar. Oh. No, you can't use them. Oh, fudge off. Right, let's go and deliver, and then we might have enough tokens to buy all the miniatures. I don't, I doubt it though, but we'll have a, a decent amount. Right, it's half past eleven. This will be the last thing I do now, and then tomorrow we'll do like a. I'll be, we'll be building out a bit more tomorrow. What I will do is I'll get what I can out of here now, and then we'll go and turn on the miner and get some stuff I'll out trade of it. You for some guild tokens. Uh, no, what I'm what I'm gonna do to you, man, is you can have that, and then you can give me six hundred and sixty-eight organs, right? And then uh, we'll go and talk to your friends to rip them off a bit more, because I build inferior products. I no, I don't want to build any more stuff. Not today. Not today. It's been a really long day of building stuff. I've spent. I, I made seventy thousand tokens today, and it was a really long time. No. I don't want to build anything else. I'm, I'm scarred. Smeg off, would you? You reckon you could get this for me? Yes. Well, no, not really, because I'm building stuff out of nothing, and I'm charging them tokens. Thank you. It's free work, isn't it? It's a resource economy. It's also script. And if you want to know how bad script is, go and check out all the miners in the 18-1900s. Peter, how you doing, buddy? I need something specific. Oh, yeah, you want the axe? I got you. Right, let's just get the axe. It's a nice axe. I like Cloudium as well. Not a Cloudium. Core Stone. Thanks. I'm well sure. Can I have that ring you threw in the rock the other day then, mate? So I screwed up an order with this guy the other day. And he threw it forward and it fell into the rock. That which sucks. Must be 
So he threw it and it went straight into the rock and I can't get it back. It's in there somewhere. Might be a way to get it out, maybe if he's a magnet. Right, only a few more to go. Can you split gems? Yeah, use the uh, saw. Not the not the hacksaw. I use um uh the, the automated saw. Yeah, I'm thinking magnet might work. Means I have to drag a magnet over it. We'll go and buy another one. I haven't got, actually, I haven't got any money on me. I've got tokens. Cute Animal Live, how you doing? Max, how you doing, by the way? And, uh... Yeah, you can use the chisel. If you want, that is. Chisel's expensive for what it is, though. How about we try that again? Chisel's in the shop. I'll show you. Right, let me just pop this in here. We got 7,000. Right. So the chisel is in this shop here. It Basically, get to an equipment store and buy the chisel. 430 quid, you can split gems in half. There you go. Does pick split them? Um, not that I know of. It's mainly just the saw and the uh, chisel. You reckon you can get this? One? No. It's that simple. Right. Pretty sure I got everything out of tier one. Let's go and check shops. I just want to make sure. It used to, yeah. Uh, right, so I'm gonna need a couple. I think I'm gonna need a couple of tool racks as well. So we've got both of those because I built those. We got the yeah, we got everything off there. Slowest work day ever. Fridays always are though. Like I remember when I when I was working Friday when I, when I was working. Fridays are always really slow because like, I just want to go out. I just want to have fun. No, nope, I'm stuck here for another five hours. And then you look at the clock and it's like four hours and 58 minutes. It's just too much. I should. I haven't got one of those. And we haven't got this. I haven't got this. And I haven't got this. And I definitely haven't got this. And I definitely haven't got this. Perfect. Now I have everything of tier two. So quick hack. Death Ring Game, how you doing, Matt? Welcome in, bud. Take a load off your feet. Right, so that's fine. I've got all of the tier two stuff now. So now I can start building big drills. Oh, yeah. See, we now need core stones going to be in abundance. Thankfully, I prepped. We, bu we built another 18 drills. So we've got 18 drills, and they're just ra they're working now. That's fine. I'm just making passive money now. And then I'm just going to go however lever and just go for the whole lot. Doesn't matter. And then I'm going to buy, and I'm just going to buy everything. So my next, for tomorrow, I'll probably buy another load of tokens. How much am I going to need? So I'm going to need one of those. One of those. And one of those. I'll need 3,000. Oh, I need one of those as well. Yeah, obviously. 3,700. Okay, cool. I work as a malware analyst and Fridays are always the worst. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. Oh, I get you.
So are you going to be working the new store and the new hours suit you more? So you've got more money and more stuff to do? Or have you got more money and you've got a bit more freedom? Gonna need a bigger table. So for now, I'm just gonna put it all up in here. I will get myself a proper table tomorrow. I'll do all this properly. It's fine. But for now, so I just have to dump stuff. This is the problem with like deleting all my floor. I haven't got enough floor. The reason why I'm going to need to upgrade the floor as well is because I need to put a big harvester here. And the only way I'm going to get a big harvester there is if I've got a floor to move all my stuff around. So I can get the hauler to back up here and put the harvester here. And then I've got to build my plot up around this. So maybe the next stream I do, we'll be taking all this apart. And it will be hell. <laughs> it's going to be one of those horrible times it really is so I need to turn my drills off I have four drills and lots of money with only one hand sorter oh yeah that thing there there's a few of those laying around in most of the shops one at Lumberton one in New get a new new uh, yeah, new grove and one down at Shad I'll be working third shift so I can come home, take a nap, and then hop on computer. And oh, excellent. Cool. Well, like I said, if you need us, you know where I'm on Discord. If you need me to do stuff for you, I'm all good. Obviously not editing. I hate editing. I hate even doing my own editing. But if you need graphics and stuff done, I'll, I'll help out where I can. I got you, bro. I got you. So the plan, let me just let me just go through what's in my head of what I'm actually going to do here, okay? I need to take that with me, first off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to T-pipe off of here and draw a conveyor belt that way. And then either side of that conveyor belt are going to be tier, like the heavy drills. So they're going to be firing onto a conveyor belt that's going to merge onto this belt. And then wherever the gap is, I'm going to take another conveyor belt, run it straight up there, and drop another load of heavy drills onto the end of this. And we'll get it all the way up until the end. And I'm going to do that for the whole of this run. So this whole bottom section on this side will just be heavy drills. And then it'll be like single drills. Now, if my computer's not having a fit by then, and it's not, it's not dying, then I'll consider building a layer 2. And I'll just do the same thing. Layer 2 will be a platform. I'll put the snow underneath because I've got the scepter. We're all good. And then what I'll do from there is I will basically build another layer of drills and another layer. I'm basically going for a huge factory. But each le each level is going to have its own cutoff point because if it becomes too much, then I'm going to have to turn it off and never turn it back on. As long as I've got it all set up, I should be completely fine. Now, the actual mine itself, which is all these wooden bits and pieces, I actually want to turn this into a massive scaffolded structure. So it all sinks to the floor, like stone pillared up. So it actually just generally looks like it's supposed to be here. When it comes to the sorting area, which is all this stuff up here, obviously I want this all sorted out and look, so it looks a bit nicer because this at the moment looks a little like a scrap heap. And then I want to basically put like wooden struts underneath all of this and make it look like it's actually being properly supported instead of just floating. So that's the plan. So my plan is basically to make this into an actual full on build. And some of these streams are going to be like this where I do like five or six million different things. Or oh, then there's going to be like streams. I'm just going to be sitting here placing bits of wood. So I just have to put up with that. Well, you guys have to put up with that if you really want. And I'm always going to be here for quick a QA. and a So if anybody ever wants to know anything, you can ask questions. I'm all good. But now I'm going to go and do one more thing. And we've got to do this because it's an achievement. And then I've just got one hidden achievement to do. And I still don't know what it is. So I might have to be skiving around the community area tomorrow. Looking for the, or like someone who's completed the game completely. And see what the last achievement is. 
I had a hard rock back up with <sighs> My Shattered Breach base is awesome. I don't like the Shattered Breach. Shattered Breach is too small. It's tiny. It's not good. You're better off in the cinder footing. For anybody that wants like a medium build, go cinder. Cinder's amazing for that. I would say Shattered Breach and Scoria are just not worth anybody's time. They're too small, they're a bit crappy, you have to build too much to make it all work. Speaking of scrapping, I had a massive sorted pipe uh, scrap heap over while an upgrade of my iron pipes. Uh, looked like a proper mine. I suppose, yeah, I mean, I could use it as like... I was going to build the railings out of pipe, like, I, like I've done before. So I could do that. Right, let's get an achievement, shall we? Booyah. Way, I've got an achievement. John, how you doing, buddy? Now, I don't know what the hidden one is. So that's going to be fun to find out. I'll try and figure out. And I don't know what it is, so I've got to try and find out. And I don't know. I'm going to go and talk to somebody. I might have to talk to, like, Itchy. I'm like, dude, I need to know what the last one is, and then I'm completing again. I was full through the ground when digging down to a new tier. Any hints? That's just what the one I'm doing wrong. Are you using a rake, by any chance? Because if you're using a rake, it means when you're, like, scrubbing the land, your feet are getting caught through it, so you get, like, zapped through the land. It's happened to me a couple of times. It was fun. Basically, you just unstuck yourself and just put yourself back at the top. But the idea is not to stand on the square you're using a rake on. And that's if you're using a rake. If you're doing anything else, I haven't got a clue. I don't know. So tomorrow's stream... Oh no, I'm running out of lava. Oh, I'm going to have to fill up. So tomorrow's stream is going to be a bit more much like what I'm doing now. <coughs> basically running machines and building stuff so I've got enough money to buy all the materials so I might just do a run down pick up a load of like flooring make a car park so we've got, so we've got a bit area to sort out start building an actual like workshop that's the idea put a roof on it make it look alright Ugh. Joys are getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and telling your kids to shut up and go to sleep. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap! I don't know how much that's worth. But it was good. How heavy is that piece of ore? Uh, about 300 pounds. The first drill gives out 300 pounds worth. Like nuggets of gold was 300. So I'm going to assume the iron was as well. The thing is, is once you've got a mine going, you don't need to worry about how much things are worth. And that's what, like, that's why I literally that's the video I made about those ore miners. That was my honest opinion of them. I genuinely don't understand why they're in the game. Because once you've got a couple of drills running at like low tier dirt, you're fine. Like even at tier two, I had like my first like four drills I had here and then I took them down to here and then I put them at the bottom. I just moved everything down and as soon as you, st as soon as you get stuff down to tier two, you don't have to worry about anything else in this game. Everything just, it just produces for you. You're fine. If you want like big lumps of cloudium and everything else, Get your drills down to tier 3 as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter if it's all mowed out or anything else. Just get them down to tier 3. Every block, e even on like standard drills, most of these are bog standard drills. Anything after here. So that's a standard drill. 
the first four drills are the ones that I that you get given in the game when you get to like one star, two star, and three, you know the the tier shopped ones. So those four are the ones I would say that I either built or I got from a shop. All of those are just whatever. And I ran this mine off of four drills for a really long time. And I spent a long time just like mulling by, doing stuff and leaving it running. And that's all I did. So the money that I got, which was this massive pile of cash, was from just one sword. That was a, that was basically all my iron. A couple of because I I made one of the customers' swords wrong, and I used my entire bar of iron on it. I was like, if I give this to the customer, that's a lot of scrap. That's a lot of metal gone. So I kept that one, built him a new one, and then I basically took that one sword and sold it, and it was worth five hundred and sixteen grand. So I don't really need like now, I don't really need money until it runs out. And then, obviously, I need more. But by then, this may almost be done, sort of. So the plan is to go from here to that wall there. And just... Eat. This is all going to be concreted off with this stuff, which is from uh, Shad. So that's going to be a bigger area for me to have all my sorted stuff and, like, spare bits and pieces and just everything else. Then on this side, I'm going to have a car park because I've got to fit all of these onto here and then that whole side there i'm actually gonna i'm gonna put more paving down to one side because that's gonna be the driveway to get onto this section here because all this is floating so then i'm gonna have to put supports to go all the way down to the floor and then make it actually look like it's an actual building and then my mine is all gonna be down there so i need to get the top floor done first which is gonna be a lot of floor and then i'm gonna start building stuff and make it look actually proper and every single one of these is going to have its own fuel tank section. So I'm going to try and build a pipe that refuels each one of these at different heights. So the building is going to have to be quite big because the hauler is a giant beast. So at one end it's going to be like this massive shed. And at the other end it's going to be a tiny little thing because that's where the motorbike lives. But apart from that it's all good. Um, I need to do something with this. And what I may do is I may move my intake to here. Wrap it around to here. And have my lava flowing into this pipe here. Have a conveyor belt running underneath the actual repair thing. So I don't have to worry about refilling with tool bags. I'm just going to buy like 10 grand worth of tool bags. And just let it roll on the, on the conveyor belt. That's the plan. So it's going to be just lots and lots of just little tiny things. That I'm going to be doing throughout my time. Um, chances are a lot of it may be done off stream. So I'll come on here and grind out a couple hours to you guys. And then put a video together. I'm like, okay, in today's video, I'm going to be making uh, the feeding belt for the automated like filter system. Uh, in this video, I'm going to build a garage for all of my trucks. Uh, for this video, we're going to be doing this. So yeah, how long did it take me to dig all the ice out? I think I didn't use the fire tank. I used the roller. I haven't bought the fire tanks uh, ta canisters. I used the roller and I did it on every plot in one day and I was tired <laughs> T2 drills can I move with hands uh, oh you mean the um, the heavies you need to use the hauler so the big thing you need that so yeah you need the hauler because it's the, the drills are massive. I mean, the, the drills stand four or five blocks tall, two blocks wide. So it's like a footprint of four. And the heavy harvester is nine block footprint, stands about th like four blocks high. It's huge. I can imagine the being tied part. Mate, I didn't just do this plot. I did them all. <laughs> Um, day one, I finished Waterside, and I moved down to uh, Shattered Breach. Day two, I did Cinder, Lumberton, and Scoria, and the top layer of um, Dawn's Rest because I wanted the artifact. So in the video that I did, the, the video comes out tomorrow. It's my review of all the plots of land. I do all of the I do all of the relics at the same time. 
So I don't tell you where they are, I just pick them up. And the reward is this. Oh, my scepter. Which is needed if you want to build drills on like hard surfaces with no snow. But yeah, so that that's the plan. We're I'm, I'm going to buy a load of flooring tomorrow. We're gonna I'm gonna bring it all up here, hammer it all down, be all good. Start putting out stuff. So I, I've actually got things. I've got places to put things. That's what I want to do. And then um, while I'm doing it, I'm probably just gonna leave my machines running because the more I've got in here, the more drills I can build next time I come on and be like, oh, I'm gonna build loads of drills. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna, tomorrow. I think we're gonna move this. So tomorrow's live stream, we're going to build the conveyor belt for this, so we can just um, so I can just automate that basically, so I don't have to worry about it. Just as a thought, try, I try to lower the amount of lag by massive mine. Uh, might make with a logic smith. Yeah, so I did this. I've done this a lot in like other, actually I'll show you. So in my previous build, which is season three, what I did was I ch had three sections of uh, smelters and the reason why I did this was because it took a lot of the lag out of the process not all of it but it did help a little bit so I'll explain what I did so let me just get through my sorting area okay so each tier that I had down here so this is my tier one section Tier 1 section had its own sorting area, so you'd have like iron and everything else all put into here. Gems would literally just make their way to the top, okay? Gems go into their own compressors, um, which are which are top side. Tier 2, down here, you have the same sort of thing. So we had our own sorting area for Tier 2. Everything would go in here apart from gems. So you'd have everything else. Gems would just head to the top. That's what this spare conveyor belt here just loops gems out and we're all good. And then when you go down into tier three, same thing. So all everything goes up that conveyor belt, gets sorted out. And just down here, all of the tiers come out. Then when you got to the top, you were able to control each set of these. So there's a lever upstairs for every set, uh, every tier. So we'll go upstairs. So up here, uh, that was tier one. Tier 2 and Tier 3. If you push this button, then every single smelter downstairs triggers, so you just transport bars up the conveyor belts. And that was how I did it. Uh, that's a vegetable sorting out area, so I could sort out all my veg. All of this was done like this. If I ever needed to make something that was on, like, um, if I needed to make a necklace with 100 gold, I'd come over here, type in 100, Put it on the auto on the auto thing. Whilst it's all running, push this button. This one triggers with all the gold in it, and that goes down that conveyor belt, goes through the cutter, cuts off my belt, all the way back round, loops back round, goes back in, and then ends up back in here. And that's how I had to do that. Same with the veggies. Apart from the veggies, I use sort fifty fifty. So these sort fifty fifty when there's nothing on top of the platform. Everything gets sorted out. What some of it goes into the cutter, some of it goes into the seed mill, and then when it's in the seed mill, it goes back up the conveyor belt, ready to go back into here, which goes into the back of there. Everything on this, everything on this build was automated. Literally, by the push of a button, you could trigger everything of what you wanted, and that's that was simple for me. And as long as that's pulled, and that's pulled, we're all good. But yeah. That was my build. And then that's sort of what I want to do with this other place. I'm not going to do this all though, because this was a lot of work I don't really want to repeat. But the idea is to keep it simpler. So I'm just taking things out of things now and dealing with it. And that was the whole build. So yeah, having like... How you doing, Dead Tool, by the way? Sorry. So having your drills have their own sort of like a separated section downstairs. Um, where's your avatars? I'm just coming off. I didn't turn them on today. Um, so with, when it comes down to having like a separate area downstairs as a sorting area, and then you trigger it, 
What's the big deal with logic with logic smelters? Never use them. Basically, you're they are programmable. So if you you can now do it off of like a, a certain amount of um, like if you can you can change the amount of liquid that's inside them, and then you can trigger it so it'll trigger itself and so on and so forth. I did it because I could just trigger them with a lever. So I was able to turn them all on by just pulling, well, just by pushing this button, I triggered every single smelter just to shoot out all the bars up onto this one conveyor belt. So the lag disappeared. So when I turned off all my machines, instead of transporting all that ore up to the top belt, it was all in bar form, which didn't take up as much. You'd still feel lag because of just, well, it was painful because a lot of the game when you're running through tier three, you're running a lot of dirt very quickly, which caused a lot of problems. If it's feeding its own sorter belt, instead of just taking up all the space on the conveyor belts, the lag disappears and it just it's just a better experience. But it is still like it's still painful to play. You know? I still don't know why I did that though. Oh yeah, no, I know, don't worry. I could have just gone into there. There you go. But yeah, so that's how, with the idea of having downstairs as its own setup, it's actually not a bad idea. You know, you could, you could chuck it all into here, just run a lever, and just go click, and you just transport bars up, which is a good idea. So I might do that later on. We'll see how things go, and we'll see what the lag's like. This game has been upgraded and up, uh, optimised, so that's what I'm hoping that maybe what my plan is to just get the bottom layer done first and see how the game reacts to it and then see what I can build from there so if you have enjoyed this live stream hit the like subscribe notification button below for all other updates It'd be nice to see you here tomorrow because I'm going to be doing another one and we're going to be doing a lot more different we're going to, I'm building a lot more tomorrow so it should be fine I'll leave my drills running but we're going to be picking up flooring building some bits and everything else so until then, I'm going to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, or whatever time it is for you there. And I'll see you all tomorrow. A boom! Fist bump to you. And have fun. Oh.